Damn, so the fire soldiers really going up against God right now. What kind of JRPG is this? Some Shin Megami Tensei game. What's up guys, I'm Kieran. I came out of the womb watching anime and we're about to react to season two, episode 10 of Fire Force. It's called The Woman in Black, which I'm, I thought was some kind of Daniel Radcliffe Harry Potter movie, but hey. So I'm guessing we're gonna learn more about this woman who is probably, you know, one of the three remaining Adelabas users or pillars. Yeah, last episode was, it was amazing, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I just freaking love seeing Ogon pop off. He is the king, he is my favorite character already. I know I've seen him for like, what, three episodes or something, but he's just so... But yeah, I guess we'll see what Shinra can do with his light speed returning. Gonna finally be able to use his Adela Burst, I'm assuming, today. Also, you guys, I don't know if this is even feasible, but we are going to try and see if we can hit 10k subscribers by the end of the year. It's a, it's a crazy goal. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I need your help. So, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We do anime reactions. Sometimes I react to some Nintendo stuff. Mostly anime, though. So, if you love that, like I do, make sure to stick around. Click subscribe. Okay. So, not much is happening right now, apart from we're in the other realm. Was it like a second she can only give him? That's it. Yeah, one second of time. Which is enough for him, considering his ability. I want to know what her ability is, too. What do you guys think it is? I mean, she's out here teaching animals how to speak. So it's got to be something weird and crazy. S. Ogan is back. Yo, he rolled this man into a ball. I'm shocked he's still going, to be honest. Yo, he's so strong, dude. Oh, Shimmer's eyes are red. It's looking good. Oh, so she's asking. We're having a full conversation right now. Shimmer probably looks really weird to them, though. He's just staring at the wall. No different than the rest of you. The rest of who? The Pillars? Came to restore this world from where though? Where is she from? Her? Who's her? Probably the blonde lady that looked like her uh, sister Iris? I don't get why they want to destroy everything though, it doesn't make sense. Like, chaos for why? What reason? Okay, so she's actually gonna grant him the grace. Let's see! Let's go. What is this, dude? She got a whole eclipse behind her. Alright, it's time. Dude, he looked like a game glitching. He really said that wild up. Wow, I don't remember it looking this cool. I think it's like it's slightly different from first season, I think. This is all in less than one second, mind you. Jeez! Yo, it does look really cool though. I like the animation style they're using. Wait. Oh, oh, that's what the dude looked like as a human. Oh, that's what it looked like as a human? Wait, is he just walking the... Oh, he can see their memories. That's cool. Why can he see their memories? The only one that survived? Like Brooke in One Piece? Oh, he lost all his wealth and property. He was a rich guy too. Oh, that's so sad, man. This man lost everything. So did hate make him become an infernal? My women? I thought he had one wife. Hold on. Where is here? Spatial rift? Is he gonna go through it? What is going on? Wait, what? Is this that same lady? The woman in black? That's her, right? Apart from she's wearing white. Yo, she looks huge. She looked like one person sitting on top of another person inside a cape. What? Is that space in her mouth? Oh, it's one of those bugs! Obviously, the same way they use the bugs now. That's what turned him into an infernal. So the Am... I can't say the damn name. The Evangelist and the woman in black came through the spatial rift. Yo, hit him with the Latom. I wonder if Shinra can actually go through the Spatial Rift himself with his ability. <laughs> Ogun's just like, yo, where'd he go? <laughs> yeah, see, he's like, what the hell? Where'd he go? That's how quick Shinra is. Man, he's basically just Fire Iron Man. That's such a cool ability. See, she's shook. She's like, Nani? The same kind of presence about you as he- Yeah, yeah, like, they look the same. They're like human, but not quite human, you know? I don't know, they seem like some kind of alien race of people. She was human? I don't know if it- really? Wait, came to this world? So they're humans, but from a different place. Alright, so she- She's just like a normal person, though. 
that got an Adalaba. She's not like a god, a goddess, or anything like that. And this tabernacle thing was already there by the time they got there. I still need to know how she's teaching animals how to speak, though. Because I'm guessing there's a religion built around her because of what she's done? I don't know. If the various religions of this world are based on visions of Adala that she has shown others, then perhaps from mind-boggling ancient times. Wait, so the Evangelists have been around since that long? What? So apparently the Evangelists have been around, like, forever, just tampering with humanity. So the Evangelists con conjured up religion. That's what this anime is saying right now. Okay. Damn, so the Fire Soldier's really going up against God right now. What kind of JRPG is this? Some Shin Megami Tensei game. Is she gonna smile? Oh, okay, she's happy. How come characters that look like that, even when they're good, they look evil as hell? Is she gonna die now, though? It looks like she's gonna disappear. That probably used up the loss of her energy. But they're still probably wondering where the hell Shinra is. <laughs> He's just like, yo, I don't know where Shinra went, dude. <laughs> oh, okay, they know that Shinra put it to rest, though, obviously. Man, sometimes I look at the animation and art, it's not as smooth as season one, but it's still kind of nice, though. Is he gonna feel her in there? Oh, man, I think she died. Even if she is alive, like, will she ever come out of there? Like, what purpose will she serve apart from sitting in the tabernacle forever? Oh! The one that looks like Iris is inside the Amaterasu. That makes sense. Why does she have to live in a sacrifice? A sacrifice? A sacrifice for what, though? Mmm. Suspicious, dude. Bro, that's some fancy memory stick, by the way. Arthur said it's pie, dude. Yeah, there we go. It probably is pie, but why? Hmm. Thing is, though, that would mean there has to be more um, Amaterasu or Tabernacle nuclear kind of sites. So where are they? I still haven't gotten over how weird you are, okay? Your body, how he survived last time. That was weird. Alright, I guess they're going back to Tokyo. It's weird, we're just gonna leave these talking animals by themselves? Yeah, talk to him, Shinra. It's okay to get help. Ain't no problem with getting help. Yeah, that's true strength, like acknowledging your genuine weaknesses and being okay with getting help from others. Obviously, it doesn't mean there's not room to grow, but I respect Shimmer for that. I agree. I don't know if that would be helpful, but okay. Unlock some fire powers. I wonder if he can use fire What the Oh no, the gases are back. Oh god, I forgot about the gases. <laughs> they clearly like it. Yo, what is this rainbow fire, dude? Oh, there she is. Wait, why is Shinra there too? She is Amaterasu. What does that mean exactly? They got back quick. That was a short little arc, to be honest. I thought it would be longer. I don't know what the hell they're saying. <laughs> You wanted more adventure? Yeah, I agree, it was pretty quick. What do you mean the gas was fun? Was she crying? Oh! Yo, who cries and then smiles like that? She seems really twisted. But because she looks like Iris, it kind of makes you have a soft spot for her, it's weird. As the world was being covered in ash, one man appeared. Raffles, yep, we did see this, okay. Why are we seeing this again right now? With the information we have right now, I'm not picking it up. Like, I don't feel like I've learned anything new that's making me think, hmm, I get it now. So if there's anything that I'm missing, you guys, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> Vulcan's handiwork, dude. Alright, they're back home. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? The evangelist developed the country and wants to destroy it. Why? Of course they are. Of course they're hiding something. Alright, I wonder what's going to happen next though in the story. That arc's done. I'm curious. Alright, that's it. End of this episode. Thank you to everyone that made it through that. Apologies if my reaction seemed like a low energy or if I was kind of quiet. 
I, I don't know if I'm getting sick or what, but I feel super tired. My throat is like, I don't know, I feel like I'm losing my voice. But either way, that, that arc was really small, wasn't it? But I enjoyed what I saw of it. It's a shame you guys are telling me that there aren't really many more countries to explore, so I guess we're going to go around and see the rest of Tokyo and try and find out potentially where the rest of these, um, these Amaterasu or Tabernacle likes are. I don't know, it's potential that they they still could be um, places around the world where they are. You guys are going to have to let me know whether that's a yes or no, since I have no idea. But yeah, I, I don't know, I still really want to explore more places. I, I'm confused why we didn't get an explanation on the talking animals, but maybe that will come soon. Either way, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.